He, he, he'd make you laugh, you know, and uh, that was the main thing. People went, like, to hear his jokes and the comedy, and, you know, you'd always have a good time. And the, the theatres was always packed, you know. You couldn't get tickets for them sometimes, you know. You'd have to wait and listen at home to the TV and wait. They came on in a couple of weeks or months later, you know. You know, there were simple jokes and so clean, like, you know, that he... He never had to use smutty words or anything to make you laugh, right? Mm -hmm. or very simple jokes, you know, you just laughed at them. Well, we came to pay our respects to, to Brendan, a wonderful, true blue dub, yeah. and we have so such good memories, memories of him, yeah, we have tremendous and uh, memories his, of him, yeah. his, uh, his laughter yeah, and yeah. everything, and we just wanted to pay our respects. Yeah, yeah. And say to rest, him and to his family. And to rest in peace. I think the one that performance would be on, on the telly when he was doing the, the Father of the Bride. That was tremendous. Oh, yeah, or any, any performance. He always did that. But he great. done that tremendously yeah. well. And tremendous. he was never vulgar. Or, no, that no. was one thing about him. He was Anything never Anything like that, no bad yeah. language. Yeah. And he was we just, just great. enjoyed him. We just enjoyed yeah. him. He always yeah. came away laughing. Yeah. He always sent you home happy. Yeah was one day we used to scut the Guinness trucks and the Guinness trains up and down up and down Eckland Street and he lit a cigarette one day and he gave me the cigarette when we jumped onto the Guinness truck and when we jumped off in James Street my mother happened to come around and caught me with the cigarette in my mouth and banned me from being with Brendan Grace for two or three days and the model to that story was I well, was captain of the school's hauling team in James Street at the time and we were in a cup final in Crow Park and my mother banned me, wouldn't let me go to, wouldn't let me play. And Brendan Grace came to the door and he said, plead with my mother to go, and no, wouldn't, wouldn't give in. Oh, lovely, lovely man, a gentleman, he would have done anything for you, would have gave you anything you wanted, anything. I remember ringing him up and asking him about uh, funding um, a thing for the school, and he said, yes, I'll come up and, I'll come up and have a look at the school. He came up and had a look at the school, and he, he, he put a few bob forward. And that was his, that was his, was no, he never said no, it was all, it was yes. So, that was the fondest memories of him, yeah, big, big, big time. Oh, very friendly, very witty, off stage, you know, really warm, warm character, very warm character, yeah. Really, you know, he's like one of these people that you, you know, he, it wasn't the first time you met him, you kind of would have met him before, you know, he had that kind of presence about him. His um, wonderful sense of humour and his take on, um, on childhood as well, Butler and the whole gang. Um, we're just a wonderful set of characters that he um, brought to life. And uh, yeah, so when I go home now, I will put on those records again and listen to them again. He was so funny and he brought so much joy and laughter into people's lives. And we'll all miss him. You know, he won't be replaced because he was just a natural. You know, and it wasn't put on. And no bad language, no nothing like that. And he was, oh, he was very funny. I couldn't stop laughing whenever I heard him, you know. And he had such a beautiful voice as well, singing. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sad for the country to lose somebody like that. He was, he was an asset to us.